Good morning everyone. Welcome to the next tutorial in the JMeter series and today we will be touching data parameterization. So as of now we have covered scenarios in which we have to put values manually with the request and that hits the server. So consider a scenario for example we want to you know put a load on a weather API which can fetch me weather of cities around the world. So for testing this out I would have to use a lot of data and putting manually in every request is not possible. So JMeter can also read values from a CSV dataset files using some variables which makes a life easier. You just have to maintain data in the CSV file and every user in a JMeter will pick one value out from here and put it in the request. So the topics that we're gonna cover today is using CSV dataset config and defining variables. So let us go back to the JMeter. So this is the default screen of JMeter. I'll clear out the results too. This is the default screen of JMeter with test plan and workbench. So before I explain you what components we need to do this data parameterization, so just for example we are using this API let me go back to the home page. So this is a weather API which fetches weather of cities all over the world and it has different variants. For example, if you need a 5 day 3 hour forecast or current weather data or maybe 16 day forecast data. So many options are out here. So it works on the concept that you have to get an API key and that needs to go with every request just to make it secure and get the best results out. So I have already generated my API key out here. You can also generate your API key and it is free of cost. And then you have a lot of APIs. For example, you want to fetch weather by city name or city ID, zip code. A lot of examples are there and we can take any out of them. For example, I want to fetch the weather by city name. So they have provided the API call here at api.openweather.map.org. This is my server name and this is my path. And Q is equal to city name. This is my parameter that needs to go with the request and this is where I need to put focus on just to make sure that I do not have to put it every time in every request, right? So now I hope the scenario is very clear and apart from that, we also need API key for every request, right? So now the scenario is very clear what we need to do so we can go back to the JMeter. So we'll start up with adding thread groups. So we can test small data for example a number of users as 3 and I'm just keeping the loop count as 1 so that you know we just understand the logic behind how it works and later it can be modulated to be work under any condition right. So I'll add HTTP sampler here. I'll copy the server name from this API and this is my path name. So as we already discussed in the last chapter, it could be possible that we have lot many requests going to the server with different parameters, but the server name is same like this one. So I can use the HTTP default request just to put out the parameters there so I do not need to put in every request separately. I'll move out here. Okay. So I'll copy the server name from here so that it remains shared with all the requests under the same thread group. Secondly, as I was discussing that we also need to put API key for all requests and I have already generated API key. So this API key I can use it as a global parameter in this request. I can also use out the here also but only if I am hitting a single request. 
So let's consider a scenario only where we have a lot of requests going to the server. So we keep it a shared variable. So this is app ID and this is the value, right? So now coming back to the sampler, I need to use a CSV dataset config to read files from a CSV file. Then I also need a listener to store the results. I'll use tree. I'm using tree listener because it will give me information of the request which goes to the server as well as a detailed response. Right. So now the main component is CSV dataset config. So now comes the file name. So file name is the file which you want your JMeter to read. For example, so there are two scenarios out here. First condition, your file is in bin folder. Right? So what is bin folder? I'll just make a clear drawing so that you know you guys can understand. First scenario is my file that is the CSV file is in bin folder. Second scenario is my file is stored at any location on my desktop. It could be your C drive, E drive or whatever location you want to pick you can store your file there. So the difference between the two is okay so first of all what is a bin folder? So if I go to my JMeter directory I'll erase the recordings from here. If I go to the JMeter directory, I have a bin folder out here. So if my file is pasted in this folder, then I do not need to specify any path. I can directly say weather.csv, which is my this file, in which I have put three cities and I want each JMeter user to pick one one variables from here, right? <clears throat> so another thing is that if my file is not in this location then I have to give a full path for example if my weather.file is this so I need to copy file go back here put a path like this and weather.csv so both the scenarios would work fine it's just that if your file is in the bin folder, JMeter do not have to search outside and it does not need location for your file. So file encoding is if you are using some kind of encoding for your files. Next is a variable name and delimiter. So first of all, as we were discussing, the variable name is Q. I'll add a variable to go with my... Oh, cancel Q. So for example we are talking about the locations so let's name it as location just to make sure that you guys understand how to define a variable you need to use a curly braces remember curly braces not the simple one and then location and then close the braces. So this is the format of defining a variable. Right? So I have defined the variable here and I want to pick the values out from this CSV file. Make sure that you spell it correctly, L is capital and same L is capital out there. So CSV is a comma separated file so you can use comma as the delimiter in case you are using multiple parameters. 
for example I want to test a login page where I have a username I'll put it as you then I have a password I'll put it as pass so now I have two variables not just one so I can put two variables out here like this username password and same you have to maintain your CSV with two columns for username and password right so as of now we are just using weather so I'll just put only one variable that is location so how will so before executing it is very important to know how will JMeter process this request so as we were discussing it in the earliest tutorials that it goes by sequence so whatever is at the top will be executed first so it picks the server name from here and app ID here so then it comes to the HTTP request so the server name got picked from this request defaults pardon me server name gets picked from here HTTP request defaults Q is my parameter for which I have specified this variable and second thing is the app ID which is very important for all the requests my app ID so this is also getting picked from HTTP request defaults because we have entered both out here this is my server name and this is my app ID right so I'll just clear out the screen so the next next one is my variable location location is my variable which will be read from my CSV file in which I have three rows with three different cities name so now execution is clear let's execute it save now let's investigate what's gone wrong that is why I'm using this listener tree because I can see what request went to the server so you can see out here Q is still as location it has not picked the value of the variable whereas app ID is correct so what's wrong we have defined Q is equal to location and the same is specified in the location field I have intentionally I have intentionally done something wrong just to make sure that you guys debug it properly and learning by debugging is the best way even I do face this problem even though I know how to declare my variable I have still missed out putting dollar sign here when you're defining your variables you have to put a dollar sign before location I have I'm just focusing on this because I know this is very common mistake which all of us does make so let's try to execute this now so all three requests went to the server you can see first went with parameter as Delhi second went with Jaipur and third went with this port and we have got the response out here so probably this is the parameterization and it is very simplest of example I have taken into consideration and I'm reiterating again and again make sure that you're declaring your variable properly because even though you know how to declare it in a hurry you do make mistakes and that is why it is very important to use this listener because this tell you that when I was doing it wrong for example if I don't put here dollar sign and I erase the results out here from this tree and then execute it again it tells me that this is getting picked as my Q parameter instead of location so I can get to know that where am I doing wrong so that is all for today I hope data parameterization is very clear so we'll be touching upon more concepts of JMeter in the coming tutorials thank you so much